Hello friends, my name is Dheeraj Vaidya from wallstreetmojo.com. This is part 4 of our ratio analysis video series and in this installment we will learn all about trend analysis. In simple terms, trend analysis involves collecting the information from multiple accounting periods and plotting it on the horizontal line with the objective of finding actionable patterns. So in this tutorial we have basically four objectives. Learn what trend analysis basically means. Number two, its formulas and calculations. Number three, perform trend analysis on Colgate. And number four is basically looking at its interpretations. So before we jump into the tutorial, a quick reminder, we will need the working files of Colgate case study for this video. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, then please do so from the description link below. And to keep yourself updated with the investment banking and core finance concepts, please do subscribe to our channel Wall Street Mojo. So let's get started. So what is a trend analysis? Trend analysis is actually a part of the ratio analysis framework and it comes under the company's trends. Company's trends, as you can see, is divided into three parts, vertical analysis, horizontal analysis and trend analysis. The first two parts we have already discussed in our previous videos. So please feel free to go about it and see what it means. They are pretty straightforward. Let's now discuss trend analysis. So trend analysis helps us in identifying uh, you know, the growth rates of uh, specific line items which you want to identify trends for uh, or for the overall financial statements. We basically look at trends across the sales or profits or uh, cost numbers within the income statement. You might also want to look at how the trends within the balance sheet items actually look like. It's horizontal analysis and trend analysis are pretty much uh, similar in nature. There is a difference in terms of how the base year is used. Let's discuss uh, this in a bit more detail. I'll take an example here. Let's say, you know, I'll uh, just quickly create some data here 2017. 18, 19, and 20. So let's say we have these four year data and we have uh, uh, sales numbers. So let's, for the sake of convenience, let's start with sales numbers at 100, 105, 110, 120. Okay. These are the sales items. In horizontal analysis, what we do is percentage growth year over year. So that's what we actually do for horizontal analysis. Okay. What is the growth rate from 18 to 17, that would be 105 divided by 100 minus 1. So this is the formula we discussed in the previous videos. That is 5%. Okay, so this is horizontal analysis I am discussing right now. We can see that uh, the year over year growth rates have is 5%, 4.8% and 9.3%. When we talk about trend analysis, the key thing here to note is that the base year changes, right? The base year for this 2018 was 2017. The base year for 2019 was 2018. The base year for 2020 was 2019 as, as seen here, right? In trend analysis, the base year doesn't change. What do I mean by this is like for the first year, it is pretty much the same. This divided by 2017 minus one. So that comes out to be 5%. Okay. But for the next year, I will not copy and paste this formula. The base year, instead of 2018, the base year is actually 2017. So I'll just shift the base year. So how did 2019 is compared to, you know, 2017? So that's how the trend analysis works. We see that there has been a 10% growth over a two year period, right? Likewise, we do the same for uh, 2020. Again, I'll shift the base year to the 2017. So what do we note here is that the trend analysis takes the base year as 2017 only and it doesn't change. Okay. And uh, usually this can be plotted on a graph to probably understand this in much more detail. Uh, usually a 2D graph can be used for this. And let me just change this uh, data as well for years. As you can see, 
for 2017 there was a 5% growth 2018 you know as compared to the foundation year that is 2017 so when we look at the trend analysis basically the base year doesn't change it remains at 2017 itself so the first year what we do here is we take this like 100 divided by 100 so it comes as 100% okay now the next year would be 105 divided by the base year okay that comes out to be 105% the next year 2019 will not be compared to 2018 it will be compared with 2017 itself so we will use 110 divided by 100 so the base year is not shifting here as you can see right it's the same for all the years likewise for 2020 it will be 120 divided by 100 as you can see here the trend analysis also gives us a trend as to how sales have moved over the years but the base year remains the same in trend analysis usually this is shown by way of a graph and it is very helpful so i'll just quickly create a graph as well a 2d graph could be very helpful you can go to this 2d line charts and uh, see that uh, okay so I'll, I'll just change the year as well years from 2017 to 2018 okay now you can see for 2017 obviously it's 100 percent that's the base year but from that year onwards you know, things have changed from 100 percent to 105 percent that would mean five percent growth in one year's time 110 means 10 percent growth in two years time and likewise we have 120 percent here that means 20 percent growth over a three year time frame so that's how you know trend, trend analysis is kind of you know interpreted so let's now look at our Colgate case study and uh, make the trend analysis for the same. So here is the income statement of Colgate formula. And uh, why don't you scroll down to the trend analysis section, which is at row number 67. Here we'll be doing trend analysis only on two line items. That's the sales and the net profit. But uh, you can actually do it for all the line items. That should not be a very big issue. I just, for the sake of convenience, have taken only two data points okay uh, sales and net profit so the first step is to link the data items from the respective income statement i'm linking the sales from december 16 that's 15195 so i'm just linking it here no rocket science net profit is nothing but your net income net income is 2441 okay for december 16 year okay so i've just taken and linked these respective years data and i'll be doing the trend analysis in this area all right so let's do that the first step as i said earlier was to divide this base year by itself so that gives us 100 percent and then for the next year divided by the base year right so that's that's what we keep on doing if there is lots of data it will be very cumbersome for you to keep on typing the formula so in this case uh, you can use uh, absolute reference the absolute reference means this cell c28 won't change that's what we want so there's a shortcut to uh, ensuring that formula doesn't change that's called as absolute reference and you can click on f4 you can press f4 and uh, there are two dollar signs that will get added this is called as absolute reference once you do this minor change in your formula and you can copy and paste your formulas you know across the rows that's how it works it, the, the base won't change at all likewise you can do the same for your net profit so net profit is this divided by this and obviously i'll do i'll press f4 so that it becomes an absolute reference the base doesn't change and you can copy and paste it across all right so this is how you can actually go about doing it and uh, obviously for trend analysis as i said uh, it's easier to visualize it via a graph so you can do that as well you can probably you know copy and paste this data in the graph like this let's say this is the data point and you can change the year as well okay so let me change the year
Okay. Walmart access. I think this should work. Okay. So as you can see here, we can see a specific trend. The trends here are like, you know, the net profit was 100%, but it suddenly dipped and it is kind of visually seen here, right? If I add the labels, you will find it was becoming, it became 82.9% here, 98.3%. 97 and 110.4 percent so the trend in net profit has been kind of a bit volatile however uh, we can see that the net the trend in sales has been pretty consistent over the years so that's how you know trend analysis is done and you can uh, do the interpretation on the basis of visually looking at it via a graph kind of very handy for financial analysts i hope you found this video to be useful please do like and share and if you have any feedback or want to suggest a new topic for any future video, then you may do so by writing about it in the comments section. Also, we come up with interesting videos on investment banking and core finance topics very regularly. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you can get the notification as soon as we release the latest video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Thank you.